can't do it. Stop, come on. <laughs> caught up on me and uh oh you see me reading a chemistry textbook of course yes you know in my spare time i do enjoy oh sorry for that inconvenience in my spare time i do enjoy reading about chemistry however the one the one thing in particular which has fascinated my eye has been voila the periodic table of elements oh most of, I know what most of you are thinking. Of course, it's fun to read the periodic table of elements. But I bet most of you cannot name them all. What a pity. However, by the end of this instructional video, you will be able to name every single element. Through song! However, there is one, a couple key elements in this. And that is, in fact, all having to do with memorizing the song. There's a couple of key things about memorizing this song. One of the key elements is indeed memorizing the actual song. Another key is knowing your elements, which a lot of people struggle with. However, the most difficult task in this song is actually memorizing all the elements needed. How's it going, Jay? How's it going, Dave? This way. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. How does one man mastermind an entire song? Well. There's many different ways to do it. One way is through the use of index cards, which I find to be less helpful. Another way is through the use of keyful memorization, such as memorizing key words. Arsenic, aluminum, iridium, ubidium, all the same idiom. So the one thing that I've keyed in on is through the use of one element at a time videolization. Videolization is a word, of course, I've made up. Um, this is my... Um, how, about, how did we get back here? Oh, well... Okay, so I guess we'll go from here. <sighs> so I'm sure most of you are thinking another fascinating question. What the devil's song has to do with the periodic table? Or what man would have the amount of time or, or power or thought or ability to write all the elements in song form? Well, folks, your prayers have been answered. A man by the name of Tom Lehrer? Is it Lehrer? Lehrer? Lehrer. Tom Lehrer, thank you. A man by the name of Tom Lehrer has constructed a song in which he lists all the periodic tables in a quite dandy melody. However, for the actual song, in today's pop culture, rap, hip-hop, R&B, Kid Cudi, Eminem, it's gonna be uh, so. Um, I, I guess without uh, without without further ado, this is the uh, periodic table of elements song uh, by Tom Lear, as performed by your truly uh, the next American Idol, uh, Ryan Buckley. And uh, here we go. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum. And without, um, I guess without further ado, here goes the uh, Periodic Table of Elements song by uh, Tom Lehrer. And it's going to be performed by uh, yours truly, Ryan uh, J. Buckley. So, here we go. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, ceramic, and hydrogen, and nitrogen, and oxygen, and nickel, neonium, neptunium, and ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. That's as many as tiger. You know, to stop before I continue with the song. Um, I, just, I have nothing against tiger, but I'll have these random outbursts for some reason. For those of you that know me, it's, it happens. So I'm sorry that everyone had to hear that. Hi, I'm a, I'm a General Larry Pratt, and uh, I gotta continue this song called Periodic Table of Elements. Uh, here it goes. And iron, Americanium, Uranium, Ruthenium, and Bam on the ground. 
Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Oh, hey folks, John Madden here with the very out table of Omen song. I mean, I mean, I gotta keep going with the song. I mean, I can't stop from the top because I mean, boom, why are you halfway through the song? I mean, all right, uh, there's europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium. I mean, there's a lot of other, I mean, that's five elements. I mean, it's like five, five. I mean, that's one, two, three, five elements. I just, I mean, that's five elements just being. I mean, there's a couple other elements not listed here, I mean, that are on the table. But I mean, nobody who's a man. There's, um, I mean, there's bridium and farvium and farvium and I mean, farvonium and bridium and I mean, I mean, farvonium. I mean, there's a lot of far, there's, there's five other things. I mean, we're missing a lot of stuff here, but I mean, that's it. And, uh, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> and lanthanum and osium and acetine and radium and golden and indium and gallium and iodine and thorium and thalamine and thalamine. <laughs> There's iridium, urethanium, lactanium, rubidium, and boron, gatilium, nibidium, erdinium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, samarium, and bismuth, and bromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holmium, and helium, and hafnium, and erbium, and phosphorus, and francium, and fluorine, and terbium, and magnesium, and mercury, mole, moly, moly, bed, moly bednum, magnesium. You know what, let's take, let's a, take pause. a pause for a moment. All week I've been hearing, you haven't brought in your flip and fold. You haven't brought in your flip and fold. You haven't brought in your flip and fold. You have red hair. Gingers have no souls. It's all that stuff. So, what I've done is I'm generous to take my time. And look at this. The flip and fold. Now, I'm sure you're all thinking, well, what a useless invention that is. Well, that's, that's your opinion. But, whoops, it's inside out. Just give me a moment, folks. Um, as you can see, it's a uh, four-layer design. It's patent. And uh, what it does is, uh, as you lay the shirt down on one end, it'll, uh, it, it folds.